Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video tour. Today we're touring the design center of KB Home. And uh, in this design center uh, video, we are going to be going over all the options of what, what you're going to be going through pretty much when you go to the design center yourself to choose all the options in the home that you just purchased. So this video is meant for all those people that just purchased a home or maybe are looking to purchase a home and are a little bit, you know, on the line on they don't know how much everything is going to cost i'm going to try to clarify that for you i'm going to give you numbers of what everything costs let's say cabinets countertops and all that stuff as well as giving you uh, a good idea of what materials you can choose what kind of cabinets uh, countertops and all that stuff that they have available they don't have too many options i think they're a very fairly priced uh, design center and a lot of things are worth doing with the builder so we're going to go over that and also i'm going to advise you on what not to do and what to do when you go through that whole process that's what this video is for so if you're in for this uh, always forget, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like these as I tour uh, model homes every day uh, for anybody that is moving out here to, Los to the Las Vegas Valley and needs a realtor to represent them, then you can definitely reach out to me. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, let's get into this video. So right here, we are in Las Vegas, first of all. So if you are in another town and you, they might have other options, different pricing and all that stuff, this is specifically for the Valley of Las Vegas. And uh, they have this design st uh, studio we're gonna go in right now. Um, one thing I'm gonna have to mention right now is I'm gonna give you the prices based on a house that is 2,000 square feet, okay? That's pretty much the average square footage on a house. So this will give you an idea of where you're gonna be, but obviously if you have a house that is a lot more expensive, thank you. If you have a house that is a lot more expensive, then definitely, uh, you know, you gotta adjust the numbers from there. As soon as we walk in, we'll see over to the left side your um, some cabinets, some model homes kind of thing, some model kitchens. Uh, we have all your uh, all your fixtures for your bathrooms here, kitchen. We have some cabinet choices right there, and then also right here we have all the tiles. We're gonna go through these in detail. Don't worry about it. I just want to give you a quick tour before we get into uh, the good stuff. Pedestal sinks for your powder rooms, cabinets in the bathrooms, your shower options, or your countertops are right here. We're gonna go through these. And then we have also some options here, soft water loop, uh, water softener, washer dryer, all your light fixtures over there. And then we have right here, your exterior light fixtures, door knobs, all the good stuff. And then on this side, we have all the flooring, so we have carpet, all the carpet choices. We have more carpet choices, the included tile. And then right here, all the luxury vinyl planks available, okay? As well as tiles, whatever you wanna do. So, let's see. Uh, when you first start off, the first thing you're gonna be choosing is most likely gonna be your cabinets and countertops. Most likely you would have had to do, let's say, a uh, Zoom call is what they do on the first meeting where they already give you kind of an idea of what the pricing is gonna be. And uh, for example, this was a client of mine that just purchased a home right here. Congratulations to you guys. We have, um, they chose, for example, this cabinet. They went with this countertop right here and then they got a luxury vinyl plank, right? So this is a shaker cabinet. And, um, you know, but in order to get to this point, we have to go through the whole process, right? So first process is going to be, okay, what kind of cabinet do you want? Uh, we have two options here. Uh, well, the included one is a regular cabinet. It's going to be similar to this, but uh, the, the material changes. I'm going to show you the included ones. Uh, but this is a first step upgrade, which is going to be still a wood cabinet. It's got the stain, the wood stain, just like you see it, so it has a nice texture. Right, but then it's not a full overlay. You see how much room we have in between the cabinets. Uh, if you want to get the full overlay, it's going to be more expensive, but and it will look something like this. So you can't really put your fingers in as much as you can with those ones. Okay, so these ones don't require any handles and just grab them from the side and go like this, although they do have them. Soft closing and all that stuff are going to be an option as well, but we'll go over that after. So, first step, we choose the cabinets. We go in here, we have the, all of these are all the same. Just 
copied um, you know cabinet options so you have the three options included which is this is one of the first ones it's kind of like a a nice warm brown but you see the edge right here is probably where you have the most difference and also this side is a little bit you know it's real wood still and it's great it's stained but it's not as uh thick and it's not as uh, i would say uh in demand as the other cabinets that we're gonna see as we go over to the left it's gonna be more expensive this is also another included cabinet choice it's a little bit darker brown i like this one uh, and then we have the last one, which is same style as again, but it's uh, more on the on the hickory uh, look, which is nice as well, a little bit brighter. As we go over onto this side, we have another four or five options, which still gives you a little bit that traditional look that these ones give you, but uh, it goes a little bit more into the modern style. It has a little bit more of a straight edge right here on the inside, and this is also thicker. You get a nice modern look on it and with the straight edges and all that stuff and then the colors are a little bit more uh, less rich than for example this one right so you have more of that modern look although you still have the wood grain in it that you can kind of still see because of the stain you got that option this one right here it's pretty much the same then you have different colors going a little bit more onto the grays still a little bit of brown but some grays but still with the wood tone and then right here we also have this one which is what my client chose still a little bit of gray into it but it has a, a tone of brown oh no, sorry this is a little bit darker one this is what my client chose right now uh, a little bit more on the brown tones but still giving you a touch of modern as you go into the more um, the laminated ones so those are all wood from here to here it's all real wood these you can paint them after if you don't like the color you want to change it in the future you can also paint them these ones right here you cannot paint them in the future so keep that in consideration i mean you probably could there might be some product but they don't suggest to paint them this is a, um, a laminated product so you have the compressed wood with with uh, glue inside of it that's kind of you know keeps it together and then on the exterior it has a like a vinyl finish or laminated finish they say so uh, it's very durable and it's great, but it's not the same as the real wood. So personal preference at the end of the day, this is going to give you more of a modern look. So nice straight edges. You can see what this cabinet, uh, this cabinet uh, quality is from here. Well, not, not the cabinet the material, what it is because it has this little straight edge compared to the other ones that do not have the straight edge. It's very hidden. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, we have some options. We have the dark gray Which is that's the same color pretty much And then you have a lighter gray. This is very popular also That's another one a little bit different tone of it uh, No, I, I think these are all the same tones, but oh, this is that same color uh, that same cabinet over there But and you can see it from this edge is a little bit more um, like a 45 degree angle versus this one straight down like that uh, but this is this one is painted and then last but not least we get the white color which is very popular right now so we got whites grays we have wood tone uh, we have darker tones pretty much anything that anybody would want is going to be here in these cabinets once you choose your cabinet color you should go to the to the countertops these are the same cabinets right here that they have next to us. They do have this other option right here, which is like a dark blue, like a navy blue, that they don't they don't have over there for some reason. As far as a cabinet, most once you chose the cabinets, now we gotta pair up. Let's say you go with a great cabinet, we need to go with the countertop, right? Include an option on here, and we're gonna have all the cabinet, all the countertops. Group one means that it's um, it's included. So you get this one included. This is a group two, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. You have another group one right here. Actually, group one, I think, is an upgrade. Huh, this is a little bit weird. And then uh, group two is not going to cost you much more. So let's say on a 2,000 square feet home, you're probably looking at about $600, $700 to put in a group two. Uh, depending on where it is but the included in the countertops i know this is one of the included options which is group one you can go to group two you see that 
I'll, I'll show you guys also the the names right here as well. Granite countertop as well, Perla towel. And then we have these ones, the new Caledonia. This is also an included option. And then this one, which is the Azul Platino. I like that one. It's a nice one. And then Bianco Antico and the black pearl here so these are all granites and uh you know these are going to be relatively inexpensive to do with kb i definitely recommend to do cabinets and countertops if you can because if you were to change them after unless you're okay with the included option which is nice as well uh the reason why is because if you want to do it after it's going to cost you quite a bit right here we start getting into some options they're still inexpensive you see the group one stage right here this is the included option in all the bathrooms here uh, and the group two is going to be a little bit of an, of an upgrade just like that one so about 600 700 dollars for the whole house uh, well for the kitchen for the bathroom is just a few hundred dollars extra once you start getting into the group three that's when it starts getting more expensive so you're probably looking at around 1200 for something like this with the quartz and this is a uh, group four so you're probably looking at around two grand or so 2500 for a group four upgrade okay and this is a simply white that you see most often in all the model homes then you have a quartz right here a liberty calcutta the group three and uh washington here in group three as well last one but not least we have the group fours in this side so as again nice quartz this is more if you're going for that modern look with less colors more grays and whites if you want something a little bit richer more traditional and this is the Calcutta, uh, they call it Calcutta Alabaster. Some places they call it Calcutta gold, gold because it has this gold look in here. It would match very well with a brown cabinet. Uh, same thing with this one, Calcutta Patriotic. It has a little, a little bit of brown into it. Then you can go into the blacks right here. So black uh, quartz, uh, also black quartz right here. And then you have, uh, this is a kind of a gray option. Um, you know that same material that they have in the bathroom included it's the same one still quartz it's a group one okay simply gray they call it all right that could be a good option as well if you're going for more modern so many things to choose from we have some niagara here uh group two that's a nice one as well very simple very popular one and the kodia group three so to recap these are all the options for your for your countertops we're looking at anywhere from Included included option group one, group two probably six seven hundred dollars upgrade. Group three maybe fifteen hundred to two thousand. Group uh, group four maybe two thousand five hundred even three grand. Okay. Now we covered countertops and cabinets. I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit for you guys, so we don't spend too much time everywhere here. Um, next step is probably gonna be to try to choose your. Uh, flooring in the house because now we have that way we have all the main parts of well flooring actually comes a little bit later so let's go over the kitchen now kitchen included appliances are gonna be this you might already know are gonna be these appliances right here so pushing stove four burners weir pull and we have a hood on top. Some people don't like the microwave on top, so they keep the hood. Or you can upgrade the microwave for about 220 bucks, 250 bucks, this one. Uh, and uh, which is nice also, the same on the bottom. Oh, and then you can go to a more expensive uh, microwave, which is also an air fryer, if you want to fry things in it. That's about 350 bucks instead of 220 bucks, uh, 250. And then uh, this one uh, it would be the five burner cooktop. So it has an extra burner right there in the middle. Um, and uh, it has a little bit different things like a boiler or whatever. So it's a little bit more expensive. I'll add an extra 500, 600 bucks to, or maybe a thousand, I'm not sure, for this, uh, for this oven right here. Also optional, depending on the build, on the community that you're in, if you're in Summerland, which is the mo one of the most expensive parts, uh, then you can definitely do this upgrade, which will be the Whirlpool uh, built-in stove. And depends also on the floor plan that you get and all that stuff. But for the most part, you can only keep these push-in stoves or maybe upgrade it to like this option. But that's it. Included, we'll get the stainless steel Whirlpool appliance right here. 
and then you can upgrade to this one if you want to for about 200 bucks and then last but not least you also depending on the floor plan you can get a cooktop like that and depends also in which neighborhood you're in because not they don't offer this on all the neighborhoods okay same as the built-in oven underneath okay so wanted to stop this uh video real quick to plug in my services again i'm a realtor out here in las vegas so if you haven't uh you know if you need that help from someone that uh, really knows uh, the product that knows how to sell the homes and knows everything you need to know about the kv community how much all the uh, all the homes are going to cost you with all the upgrades and all that stuff and have a, a realtor that can guide you throughout the whole process from the start to finish which means okay choosing the right neighborhood looking at crime rates school districts and all that good stuff and you want to work directly with me by the way then uh then definitely reach out to me because then i can help you throughout this whole process of choosing that right neighborhood for you choosing the right floor plan for you giving you you know all the insights of everything that you need to know when you're building a new home help you with negotiations uh help you with negotiations after you're under contract if something were to happen in the market where prices go down or up um, so having that expert next to you that has been through it hundreds and hundreds of times really helps so much. So if you're one of those people that wants to buy a home before you go into the sales office, don't go into the sales office, don't call online, their number, reach out to me first, because that way I can represent you. If you go in by yourself, I cannot represent you anymore. It's going to be difficult for me to do so. Um, versus uh, me bringing you into the community because at the end of the day you're watching this video and I am bringing you to KV as a buyer and uh, they would uh, you know they appreciate that so the builder pays for my commission now guess what if you don't go with a builder with, with a realtor you do not get any uh, any savings like they, they don't cut off the price or anything for you because it's actually something that they cannot do so keep that in mind you're getting a free service someone that is right next to you the whole time reach out to me, all my information is down below. Let's say you're not quite ready to buy yet, but you're like, oh, we don't want to look around what the prices are here in Las Vegas. I have two links down there, one for resale homes, it's an app, and then the other one is a brand new, uh, new construction website, so you can see all the new homes in the valley. So check that out. Now, after we talked about that, now let's go over uh, some other appliances that we, we didn't mention. We have the refrigerator, is the Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. This one is about $1,500 with the builder. Usually my clients end up not getting this one with the builder because you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get one of the floor models that are, um, you know, maybe half off because it's uh, has a little scratch on the side that you'll never see in your life. And, you know, that's that's what most people do. But if you just want it installed already, you don't have to worry about it. You want it, you know, it's not a big deal for you. 1500 is actually a pretty reasonable price because that's what they cost at Home Depot. All right, cabinets in the in the bathroom. So the cabinets, I, I forgot to mention the prices in the cabinets. I'm so silly. So let's go back really quick over here. We have these three uh, models right here, right? We have included zero dollars. This one is going to be somewhere around four thousand dollars, and it's not going to be a full overlay. So remember where you have that space in between the cabinet door? That's what you're going to get, right? Get right here. So anywhere between four to five thousand. Then on top, if you want to go for laminated, this one, these are going to be more of the modern uh, options, which, um, well, these ones have the full overlay as well if you want to upgrade it, but that's going to be around $6,000. Now here you can do the, um, uh, the full overlay, and this is going to cost you a little bit more, maybe around seven or so. Uh, but for the most part, these are all going to be about the same price. You may be uh, totaled if it's not full overlay, somewhere around four and a half to well five thousand dollars i would say around here and if you want to go with the full overlay it's going to be a little bit more than about 1500 more so maybe six thousand five hundred for these options okay uh, that's the prices at the time of this video or just me estimating okay so keep that in mind in your powder room you'll get one of these pedals of sinks oh that's the included option you can upgrade to something like this with the brush stainless steel uh, look or you can keep the included faucet which is this one with the chrome and we'll go over the faucets in a second as far as the in the bathrooms we have your cabinet choices the cabinets are going to be once you upgrade the cabinets it's going to be everywhere in the house okay so whatever cabinet you chose over there it's going to be also in the bathrooms and then uh, usually you'll get a single uh, sink 
you can upgrade to something like this in the bathroom where you extend this extra uh, countertop right here but keep it open so you can have let's say a uh, um, what's it called uh, makeup area or whatever it is or you can just go with a double sink so this is about eight hundred dollars of an upgrade to have this option that's free and then you can put a second sink on total fifteen hundred extra uh, overmount sink is the included option right here you can upgrade to something like this for about 150 each sink which is the undermount sink and they also have the option for the square sink as well that will give you no lip so it's easier to clean and all that stuff it looks a little bit nicer more modern in my opinion uh, countertops you'll come with this one in the bathrooms and usually people just keep that as far as the toilets they're gonna tell you hey if you want to upgrade 200 bucks each toilet you can get the two inch higher really doesn't make a big difference uh, i can promise you it's still going to come out which regardless which one you get uh, this is more of okay do you have a kid or someone that needs to go into the bathroom or do you have an elder person that doesn't want to squat a little bit lower that's what it comes down to for you i don't know if it makes a difference but that's what it is as far as the the bathroom usually you'll get a tub and shower combination in the bathroom. So it's, it's gonna have a tub right here like this with the, with the curtain rod and then you have the shower uh, coming out. Usually the first upgrade is gonna be here. You need a walk-in shower, which is gonna give you the pan just like this one, but without this seat, okay? So you see this quartz right here. Now quartz on one, two, and three. You imagine a wall right here. So it's still a good size shower, three by five. If you want to do this option right here, which is the shower with the quartz surround as well, this one is going to cost you somewhere around forty-five hundred. So just the tub, sorry, just the walk-in shower, and it's called the extended shower with the seat. If you want to do also the tub next to it, you're probably looking at somewhere around uh, the, the tub right here and the regular walk-in shower, which is going to be about three by three, this big from here to here. That's usually around sixty-six thousand dollars. Now, the option, depending on the floor plan, you might have the option to do the extended shower, just like this one, with the, with the seat as well, and the tub, just exactly what you see. And that depends, it's probably gonna be somewhere around seven grand. It really depends on, on the floor plan that you have, if, the, if it allows to have so much, so much room and that, that kind of a shower. Uh, for the materials, they don't offer uh, tile or anything here, unless you're in Summerland, you might be able to do tile on the walls. But uh, other than that, you have pretty much quartz, which is the same matching quartz as your countertops here. You'll get it on the wall as well. That's included in the price that I told you about. If you want the quartz on the walls as well, similar to what you see here, let's say maybe you want to match the countertops that you have in the bathrooms, then that's going to be extra that you have to add maybe a thousand, two thousand bucks extra to change the kind of quartz. You, know, you can also do frame mirrors. I definitely don't suggest that it's expensive. You'll just get the regular mirrors like that. And then you'll have a light fixture on top over there. Actually, those light fixtures, I think they're not including them anymore. Uh, you will get a recess light on top right here. Uh, sometimes in the bathroom, they just do one recess light in the middle between the two vanities. I would definitely do one on each side to give you more light. And if you want, you can add these pre-wires or these lights with, with the builder. All right, so now we've chosen, we talked about the kitchen, we talked about the bathrooms. Uh, we've gone through that process. You're probably gonna have to choose in the, in the, in the kitchen, your sinks also. So um, you'll see right here, chrome, chrome options. These are 300, 400 bucks. Right here, we're going to the five to 700 uh, price range to get these um, you know, faucets. And then uh, you're gonna be more expensive right here with the thin ones. You see how this one is thinner compared to this one. So you're probably gonna be around eight, 900 right here. Then this goes into the thousand, 1,500 with the gooseneck and all that good stuff. Okay, depending on the color and all that stuff, the black is probably gonna be the most expensive as well as the gold one. For your sink and the kitchen, you can upgrade to the first option which is this sink right here this one costs only 350 bucks definitely recommended because the included one has the lip that goes over it's just not recommended in my opinion because to change it after it will be a mess since it, it goes over the countertop you have some other options you're available if you like this farmhouse look kind of thing with the ceramic sink or cast iron whatever it is uh, you can do that but then this one kind of gets scratched and over time especially with the white it doesn't look good 
Uh, this one, I guess it's no longer available. Let me put a sticker on there. And then you can do the same as the other one with the black right here. Uh, for your bathrooms, you'll have to choose your faucets here. Included, you'll get the chrome, Moen chrome here. And then you can go to, let's say, a brush nickel, uh, or you can do different styles here. One thing to consider here, usually people just stay with the included one, then they change it later. This one is going to have two holes. So you see left and right right there. So if you plan on doing something like this one later, a single faucet, it's going to have only one hole. You can't do it later. Otherwise, you have to change the countertop because you'll have two holes and you're trying to put the sink in the middle, right? Now keep that in mind. Sometimes, let's say you want to do a three uh, hole thing then that's going to be even more different because you know how sometimes you have these a little bit separate. So you have one single in the middle and you have to do two on the sides. In that case, if you plan on doing that, get this one and then you replace it and you put, uh, you add an extra two holes on the side wherever you want it. So keep that in mind. But usually the people go with this one, which is the include option. If you go with something like a pressure nickel, you're probably looking around uh, 2000, 2000 to 2500 for the whole house. This one is going to be around 3000 for 2000 square feet home talking about a two and a half bathroom uh, house uh, for your same thing over here you have included option going up right here with the brush nickel that's going to be included also uh, with the faucets and then all of this uh, these are all options that you can choose uh, the undermount sinks we have an option for the oval which is what you saw over there and then also included this one is the included actually, which is a square one. Usually people go with this one less you like the oval, which is this one included. Then you go with a colder sink, because these are the, which one are these? Uh, yeah, this is a regular choice one. I don't think it has a brand on it. This one has the colder brand on it, so they're more expensive. And it gets expensive because it'll be like $200, $300 extra per sink. If you do the full house, that's going to be about $1,500 extra. And then this one is no longer available, apparently. All right, so we talked about all of this on this side. We're going to go over to the flooring in a second. Uh, flooring is probably going to be one of the things that you're going to do early on. It just depends on your designer, what they choose to do. Because usually you have to choose your cabinets and your countertops and knowing the flooring that you have, the color really helps out a lot. But I can tell you here, you're going to have a few options. You have the Layton Lake. Okay. That's going to be your least expensive options, which is going to be from here to here. And you have a little bit more expensive options, which is going to be from here to here. And those are the Coyote, Coyote Ridge. And then you have the Harper Station, which is the, the most expensive ones for uh, luxury vinyl plank. Now, are these better than these? I'm sure they have some kind of quality. They're a little bit thicker. The label, the label is a little bit uh, thicker. So you have a little bit of uh, wear, wear and tear, a little bit bigger, you know, but are these a good product? Definitely. This is going to last you forever. 30 year warranty. You don't have to worry about it. So these are as good as all the other ones, okay, in my opinion, but everybody has their opinion. So to me, it's going to come down to, okay, how much do you want to spend? So a 2000 square feet home, two stories is what I'm considering. So you're just doing the first floor, okay, with lamb, with luxury vinyl plank. Um, this is going to cost you somewhere around $7,000, okay, doing just the first floor. Uh, and uh, well, $6,000 or so. If you go up to these ones, you're probably looking at 7,500. And then over here, you're probably looking at nine to 10 grand okay, for pricing. And um, then, you know, they have other options here, you know, laminates or real, real wood, but nobody ever goes to those because they get a lot more expensive. I'm gonna stick to the, what people do, which is the first option right here, um, the, most, uh, the most inexpensive one, which is a luxury vinyl plank. And you get these in the model homes all the time. They look great. One, two, three, This one is called Layton Lake Oceanfront. Well, let me give you the, the names so you have them. Driftwood. Wild Dunes. Silver Dollar. And where is this one, I think? This one is Marina. 
So if you need it, just say, hey, which one is the luxury line of Plank Marina? And they'll tell you. Uh, this is the ripped, ripped pine. Nice dark color. If you want something more in the grays, then we're looking at this one, a little bit of a brown lighthouse. A little bit darker gray, more modern. Sea glass. Then Leighton Lake right here. We got more of the very gray. This is like even dark gray with the oyster oak. Okay, so those are the options that are the least expensive, probably six to seven grand is what you're gonna spend. And then over here, we get a little bit more expensive on the Cremona Hills, Sabia, Pecorino, and Linz. I'm going to the other Coyotes here. Oh, this one is nice, very rich. Brown, rich, dark brown. It has a very nice texture, I'll tell you that. You see that? It, it looks very um, expensive, I'll say. Very close to the wood texture, you know, but everybody is different. So if you have a little bit of an extra budget, you might be able to spend it on this Coyote Ridge. Sorry, that's a Sajo is the name. And then Coyote Ridge or Orso. A little bit darker brown. If you want a little bit more modern, this one is nice. Tufo. And then we're going into something. And very nice and rich, these colors are with, uh, with this brand Calcutta. All the Italian names. Temporale. And Tempesta. Okay. Means Tempest, guys. <laughs> uh, we can go over to the most expensive ones right here. Now, these ones don't have the seam. I'm just gonna pull them out really quick and then we'll go over to the next stage. I haven't had a client that really gotten into these because it starts getting more expensive and you're not really getting much more for the product. But yeah, that's what you get. Now, including the base price, we have three options for the title. One, and it's a 17 by 17, which is the size that you see here. Two, which is nice, this one, nice light gray. Or probably the most common one. And then three right here. Okay. Um, actually, no, these are a little bit of an upgrade. They used to be included, I think, but I think they changed it to something else. But the included tile. No, it is that one, right? No, yeah, this is it. So it's very similar to what you saw. So that was the size, but these are the three options included. So light gray, a little bit light brown, and then a little bit darker gray. Uh, those are the included. And then the, cap, the, the carpets, these are the included ones. They have so many colors to go through, grays, browns, and all that stuff. Not a big deal. Now, what does it cost? What's included? First of all, included, you'll get those three tiles, and it's only going to be in a wet area, so kitchen, bathrooms, and laundry room. Then you can extend that tile throughout the first floor. That's probably going to run you somewhere around five, maybe four to five grand, okay, for that tile extended on the first floor. If you want the luxury vinyl plank, now you're going to be at, a, at an upgrade of about six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand dollars, depending on the on which one you get. If you want it also into the bathrooms upstairs and not keep the included tile that we just saw upstairs, then it's going to be an extra grand or two on top of that. So really it depends on what you want to customize it for, you know, like we have also extra tiles here that can go into the bathrooms or in the showers, if depending on the neighborhood that you're in, we want to do something a little bit fancy in the laundry room. You want to do this uh, nice hexagon, whatever it is, you can definitely do that. This is all you when you come here okay but not many people do that you can also go with a laundry room something like this it was spanish tile i did it at my house but you know it gets expensive pretty quick so we have some tile also that is a uh, wood like tile okay you see this in the in the model homes a lot these are going to range probably more uh in the price range of those upper uh, more expensive uh, luxury vinyl planks is going to be about the same price as these ones, okay? 
And then we have the carpets. We have some extra options for the carpets. You have a different texture on here on these carpets. For the most part, most people are going to go with the included carpet and then they just upgrade the padding, which uh, will give you a little bit softer, um, you know, feel under your feet. And, uh, uh, you know, that's going to cost you somewhere. If you go with a medium uh, padding, probably looking at, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars for the whole house. Uh, well, for the second floor, pretty much. Um, if you go with them, the most expensive one is somewhere around 1200 or 1500 for like the, the memory foam padding. All right, so we went through all of this. We have some light options here in the bathrooms. So this is, you know, all the options that you can choose from. Right there. And uh, what else do we need to talk about? Pre-wires, electrical, okay. Another, a few th more things we have. First of all, backsplashes right here. We have all, all the kinds of tile that you can choose from on the backsplash. Again, this is not meant to be too much in detail, this video. This is more to give you an idea of what you're gonna be spending at the, at the design center, but you know, you're going to have a lot to do when you go to the design center and you're going to choose everything. If you want a more detailed explanation about all of these materials and what it could cost for your specific scenario, obviously, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to be your realtor and uh, represent you throughout this transaction and give you more of a detailed uh, thing. Like when, when I go with my clients, I tell them up front, hey, I think you're going to be around this much, right? I can tell you right now, though, for the most part, if you want something that looks similar to the model home, depending on which model home it is, like something really nice, you know, that model home that looks more up upgraded, you're probably looking at somewhere around four to $50,000 that you spend just at the design center. That doesn't include, let's say, some structure options that you want, that you can choose before you go to the design center, which is, let's say, a covered patio or a sliding door, or you want to add a bedroom instead of a den, or you want to add an extra bathroom. Those are all extra upgrades that that really affect the structure of the house that you have to tell them up front that could range anywhere between zero dollars to let's say thirty forty thousand dollars that you can spend even if you put all the structure options that they have um, but then you go to the design center and that's on top of that you have to you probably have to spend another 40 or 50 to make it look like the model now my client came here he got a really nice house for 35 grand this is a 2,000 square feet home okay he got the shaker cabinets, nice modern look with a little bit of more traditional. He got even the countertops in here, in the kitchen, a nice quartz. And then he got uh, this one in the bathroom right here, okay, which is the included option. And then we went for a luxury vinyl plank. The first, the least expensive one was like six grand or so. He spent 35,000 total. He didn't do any appliances extra like the fridge or, or washer and dryer, but he did upgrade a few things in the appliances. Uh, we didn't get any backsplash because it starts getting expensive. If you want a subway tile here, you're probably looking at somewhere around $1,500 to $2,000 just for the backsplash. And then if you want to do something more expensive, like a marble look or whatever kind of tile, like a, an hexagon tile like this one, you're probably looking at even more than that, uh, somewhere, you know, around two and a half to three grand for to do that. So usually those are the upgrades that you do, to, that you do after. You might want to do just cabinets, countertops, and everything that you need as far as the things that you don't want to change later, because it will cost you a lot more. And then uh, keep the, maybe the included flooring if you don't want to spend the seven, eight grand with them, or and you can do it your, yourself later. But even if you do it yourself later, it's probably not going to save you much money. Um, sometimes it's nice to have the builder do it because you have the warranty and all that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I, th I hope this was helpful, but I would say for the most part, people are going to stay at around 10% of the base price of the house. Let's say the house is 450,000, probably going to spend about $45,000 between the structural options and also the, um, what's it called? The design center. So. Let's say you spent 450 for the house plus another 45,000, you're looking at around 500,000 for the house. Um, if that's what most people do and they get a really nice house with flooring, everything done, similar to the model home, not as nice and upgraded with all the fancy stuff, but a pretty good home. If you want something more, uh, you know, 
even more expensive. Obviously, you can go as high as you want here because there's plenty to choose from. But a lot of people maybe save on flooring or some other items that they don't really need. Uh, let's say electrical and things like that. And then they do it after the fact, which, you know, can bring you down to, let's say, to 30,000 or 35,000 above the base price. So let's say you're a 450 starting price plus 30,000, you're gonna be at around 480 out the door, okay? I hope this was helpful for you to get a good insight on the design center and what to expect when you come here and what you have to choose and all that stuff. And, uh, and I give you everything. I don't think I forgot anything in here as far as pricing and all that stuff but um you know that it's it's one of the things that 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 you have to watch out for before you buy a house because a lot of builders can, and i don't think this is the case for kb because kb does a great job at pricing these things but a lot of builders really overcharge for these things what my client spent today at the design center which was 35 grand could have cost them 70 80 thousand with, with another builder maybe a luxury builder whatever it is because they way overcharge on, on things and i can help you with that also if you do plan on buying one of these those homes then there's a different approach to going through the design center and that's where a realtor and his experience can guide you throughout this whole process and say hey you know if you go with a kv you're going to save on the design center you can do more things let's say you go with a pulte or toll brother whatever it is you're going to watch out what you get in maybe there are going to be a few things that you have to do after because let's say the flooring is way too expensive with them it's going to cost you three times what it costs you here at kb um, so that experience comes in really handy for anybody looking to buy a home if you're one of those people and you're looking to to get a realtor an expert by your side all my info is down below in the description you'll be working directly with me Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Let me know down in the comments if you got if you went through the KB Design Center, what your experience was, and if you have any tips or, or tricks for any buyers that are looking to buy a home with KB, and what you think. Is it a good home? Is it a bad home? Is it a good thing to buy things over here at the Design Center or not? Let us know your opinion because everybody reads your comments down there. I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.